Hello, great eights. How are you? I hope you are fine. And I hope you are ready for a very interesting lesson. Yes, we're going to do constructions. And I know you're going to love it because it is hands-on. And it's very interesting. A am I right? Yes, of course. I know you agree with me. So, but very important, guys. Why do we do constructions? It will prepare you for mathematics beyond grade 8. Mathematics in grade 9, 10, 11, and 12. So these constructions are very important. Also, for those of you who are doing technical drawings, you can also benefit from this lesson. Some of you are doing engineering graphic drawings. You can also benefit from this. So, and even those of you who want to become engineers one day, you can benefit from, from doing constructions. So yes, guys, I know you are going to enjoy it. Just a, a quick introduction. We are going to focus in this lesson on lines. On lines and angles. All right, so we are going to construct lines and angles. Right, that is our focus on this particular lesson. Right. But of course, for us to be able to do lines, we must first know what do we mean by construction. Now, the definition of construction is construction in geometry means to draw shapes, angles, or lines accurately. Right. It is to draw shapes, angles, lines, Accurately. So the emphasis is on being accurate. So remember, you must have a sharp pencil and your instruments must be okay, isn't it? Right. Now these constructions use only a compass. We'll talk about what a compass is just now. A straight edge, or another known word is a ruler, or a straight edge. And of course, a sharp pencil. So you need a compass, a ruler, and a sharp pencil. Now this is the pure form of geometry construction. And take note, no numbers involved. We only use instruments. That makes it so interesting, isn't it, guys? So there you are. So that is what I mean by constructions in geometry. Right, now, we are going to first start off by constructing lines. Now, to construct any line, you need a ruler. Right. And, of course, this is the instrument we use. We use a ruler to draw straight lines. Of course, that makes sense, isn't it? Right. Guys, there are three different types of lines which you need to be aware of, right? So remember the first one is a line is a set of points with no definite initial or end point. Right, I mean this. There's an arrow, there's an arrow, and arrows means it goes on forever to the right-hand side and to the left-hand side. So there is no end point and there's no starting point or initial point. It just goes on forever. So those two arrows will tell you that is a line with no limits, in other words. Are we okay with that? Then secondly, we have what we call a ray. Now, a ray is a set of points with one definite end point. Aha. Can you see? So there is your definite end point, and on the other side, one arrow, meaning it starts at one point, and it goes on forever on the other side. So it starts at one point, and then it goes on forever, where a line goes on forever in both directions, that's a line, where a ray starts at a point and goes on forever, on the one side. Right. Then, the last one is a line segment. Right. Now, what is a line segment? A line segment, right, 
has a definite initial point and a definite end point. If I can show you on the drawing, right? There's no arrow there and no arrow there. Can you see? Meaning it starts at a certain point and it ends at a certain point. It doesn't go on forever. So are we clear on that now? So we have what we call a line with two arrows. We have an array with only one arrow. And we have a line segment with no arrows. Right. So those are the three different types of lines we are going to use in our construction. Are we okay with that, guys? Right. So that means you should be ready for our very first example. We are going to do the following. We are going to construct the perpendicular bisector of a line segment. Remember I said there are lines, there are rays, and there are line segments. So we need to take a line segment and draw a perpendicular bisector. Now that word, there's two words there. Perpendicular and also by sector. Right. Now we need to understand what do we mean by that. Perpendicular learners, you will remember, is an angle of 90 degrees. That's what we mean by a perpendicular. It is 90 degrees. A bisector will, if that is your line segment, will divide it exactly into two equal parts. So that line is your bisector. It divides the line into two equal halves. Is it clear what is a perpendicular line and what is a bisector? So meaning we must do two things in one. Right. Now there are certain steps we need to follow. And the first step is going to be that you must draw your line segment. Right. We can call it PQ or you can call it AB or whatever you want to call it. So you draw your line segment, and you name it PQ. Then secondly, we are going to place our compass on one end of the line segment. Right? I'm going to demonstrate to you very soon how we're going to do it. I'm just taking you through the different steps. Right? Then once you've done that, step three, you set your compass with to uh, approximately two-thirds of the line. Let's say, if that is the line, right? If that is the line, that is about a half. So two-thirds is roughly there. You see, guys? So you're going to set your compass two-thirds. Can you see? Set your compass two-thirds of the line. Right. Then the fourth step is, Without changing the compass, with, we're going to draw an arc above the line. Now, an arc is like this, guys. That is an arc. You're just going to draw an arc. Right. Then the next step is going to be, again, without changing the compass's width, you place the compass on the other end of the line, draw another arc, above the line, like you've done previously, right? So that the arcs can cross. So in other words, there's the one arc, and there's the other one. So the two arcs will cross. Right, don't panic, you will see just now. Then step number six, without changing the compass, right? Draw an arc above and below the line. So we can, if that is the line, you can do it above and below Above and below. So that is the idea, guys. Your line with arcs above and arcs below. Right. And once you've done that, right, then you use a straight edge or a ruler and you draw a line between the points where the arcs intersect. So once you have the line, you got the two arcs, then you're going to draw a line through those two points. And that line is your perpendicular bisector because those two sides are equal. 
and all these angles here are 90 degrees. Right. But don't worry, guys. It will make sense the minute we're going to. Now, I want you to have your instruments ready. Right. You must have your compass. You must have your ruler, right? And your protractor and a sharp pencil. Have it ready. Because when we, I want you to do the construction with me, step by step. Right. So, guys, get yourself ready, and I'll see you in a minute. Right. Welcome back, guys. Now, let's do the exciting part now. Right. So, let's draw. Now, let's see what instruments do we need. Now, okay, I have a very fancy board here, which you don't really have, because you can do the instructions maybe in your book. Right. But it's nice to have a solid board. Then, of course, what we need is our ruler, right? Or some people call it a straight edge or a ruler. We need a protractor later on, a protractor. Then we need a set square. Remember, there's one of 60 and 30 degrees. There's also one of 45 degrees. Of course, a sharp pencil, guys. A sharp pencil, please, right? Then your compass. Either a fancy one like this or an ordinary one like this, doesn't matter. This one you have to put your pencil in. This one already do have a pencil. So let's go through it again. You need a ruler, protractor, set square, sharp pencil, and pro uh, and compass. Right. Are we cool with that? Okay, right. Let me remove my stuff and then we can start our first construction. Remember now, right, the first, we, we are going to draw what we call a perpendicular bisector, right, perpendicular bisector, right. We are drawing a perpendicular bisector. So remember, I said step number one was start by drawing a line segment PQ. So you take your ruler and you draw a line segment PQ. Uh, any length, guys, it doesn't matter. Right. So there's your line segment. We just make it a bit more clear. Right. And we call it PQ. Line segment. So in other words, no arrows. Remember, we said the line segment does not have arrows. It starts at a certain point and it ends at a certain point. Now, I want you to do that now, please. Draw your line segment. Cool. Right, I'm sure you've, you've managed that. Um, we all can draw a line segment, guys. And please name it PQ. Then step number two is you must place your compass on one end of the line segment. So there's my compass, and I'm going to put it on one end. Either at P or at Q, it does not matter. Right, that is step number two. Then step number three, set the compass width to approximately two-thirds of the line's length. Doesn't matter what, so two-thirds. So that is about a half, guys, can you see? So I would say two-thirds is roughly there. Can you see? That is about half. Can you see there? About half. So two-thirds is about there, roughly. Is it clear, guys? Right. I, are you okay with that now? Then the next step is you must now, uh, without changing the compass width, draw an arc above and below. So now we can draw an arc. There and there. Right. I hope you can see it. An arc above and below. Are, are we cool with that? Right. The next step, step number five. Without changing the compass's width, place a compass point on the other end of the line and draw an arc again above and below. So you take the compass and you put it on the other edge and do the same. Right. Please don't battle with a compass. Right? Don't fight with a compass. 
can either hold it there, it's actually easier to hold the compass up there, then you'll be very accurate. Right, are we cool with that? Then, then step number six, without, the, okay, we've done that now. So the next step now is to draw a straight line through the two points. So this is the one point where the arch meet. There's the other point. So we need to draw a line through those two points. Right. And there you are. So that line, I can maybe call it AB. So that line is my so-called perpendicular bisector. And I'll tell you why, guys. It is perpendicular. If you take your protractor and you measure the angle, you will notice it is 90 degrees. All of them are 90 degrees. So all these angles here, guys, are all 90 degrees. So that makes it a perpendicular line. It is 90. That is perpendicular. And a bisector means if I measure the length of the line, right? If I take my, you can take your, your, your protractor again, your compass, I mean, right? Take your compass and measure that distance there. Can you see? And if I put it there, you will notice it is exactly the same distance. That distance and that distance is exactly the same. That means, guys, that if I call this point C, that means that that side and that side are all equal. So in other words, number one, if I can call this angle 1, 2, 3, 4, here at C, then that means that angle C1 is equal to angle C2, is equal to angle C3, is equal to angle C4, and all four of them are 90 degrees. That makes it perpendicular. And then secondly, the length of PC from P to C is the same as from C to Q. So P to C, C to Q are exactly the same. And that is what we mean by a perpendicular bisector. Right, I hope you guys could manage to do it with me, right? And yeah, I enjoyed doing it. I don't know about you. Right, so there you are, guys. Please practice, practice, practice until you get it right. Right. Okay, see you in a minute. Right, welcome back, guys. I hope you've enjoyed that first one, how to construct a perpendicular bisector. Now, are you ready for the next one? Yes, I know you're ready. Right, the next one we're going to do is... Again, a perpendicular line, but at a given point, right, at a given point. Let me take you through the steps. Number one, again, we're going to draw a line segment, and then we're going to identify a point, we can call it K, anywhere on the line. So what we do is, we're going to draw the line, right? And we're going to find a point K anywhere on the line. It doesn't matter. Right. It can be anywhere on the line. That is the idea. Because we're going to draw a perpendicular through point K. Right. The next step will be, now you're going to set your compass to a medium setting. I'll explain to you now. And the actual width does not really matter. I'll demonstrate to you now when we do the drawing. Right, you're going to set your compass at a certain uh, radius. Right, step number three. Without changing the compass width, you must mark a short arc on the line at each side of the point K, forming the points PQ. These two points are thus the same distance from K. Let me quickly demonstrate. If that is the line... And if that is K, you're going to draw an arc there and there. 
on both sides of K. That is the idea, right? Uh, I hope that that makes sense. Then, step number four, you must increase the compass uh, to uh, almost double the whole width. Again, the exact setting is not that important, right? So that's what you're going to do. I'm going to show you now what's going to happen there. Then from uh, P, mark off a short arc above K. So you're going to have this situation. Right, there's your K. So there's your first two arcs. Right, and then, then we're going to mark a point P somewhere there. So point P will appear there somewhere. Right. So that, that is the idea. But I'll show you now. Don't worry. Then, without changing the compass width, repeat from the point Q so that the two arcs cross each other, creating a point R. Like, like I just showed you now. And then, using the straight edge or your ruler, draw a line from K to where the arcs cross. Now, I know it sounds a bit confusing, and maybe you're a little bit lost now, but don't worry, I am going to exactly show you now, step by step, how to do it. Okay, get your instruments ready. See you in a minute. Right, welcome back, guys. Let's see. Remember, what is the instruction? We must draw a perpendicular line at a given point. Draw a perpendicular line at a given point. Step number one, draw a line segment and identify K. Right, so draw a line segment. Please do it with me. Do it with me, guys. Any length, doesn't matter. There's my line segment, right? And now look for a point K anywhere. Okay, I will make my K there. There's my point K. Could have been here also. It doesn't matter, guys. Point K can be anywhere on that line segment. It doesn't really matter. Step number two, take your compass, right? And I said medium length. So what I'll do is, there's my compass. Look, by medium I mean at least, I mustn't go over this line, can you see? I'm not over that line. That's what I mean by a medium. Are, are we okay with that? Right, so put your compass on K. And then you draw an arc there, right? Draw an arc there. Without changing the compass, draw another arc there. Are we cool now? Right. So without changing the compass, you draw an arc there, and you draw another arc there. Without changing the compass. Right. I hope you've done that, guys. If not, then quickly do it. Remember, you draw your line, you find your K, you set your compass at a medium uh, width, draw an arc there, and draw an arc there. Cool. Then, set your compass a little bit bigger radius, a little bit much bigger, not too big, it must fit on your page. Then, guys, put your compass there, on the one arc. Can you see it? On the one arc there, and then draw an arc there. Right. Do not change the compass. Leave it like that. Put it on the other arc now, on the other arc, and draw another arc there, so that the two can cross. Are we cool now? So remember now, set your compass at the bigger uh, the, uh, arc, put it in there, draw your first arc, do not change, put it in there and draw the other arc. And that will be the other point Q. Right, right, okay, oh, yeah, we can call it K, I think K, and I think we mentioned, uh, you can call it Q, I think, if I remember. Right. I hope I called it Q, I can't remember. Actually, it doesn't really matter. Then your last step is to draw a line through K and where the two arches meet. Right, and there you are. And that, guys, is your perpendicular 
through a certain point K. If I can call this angle 1 and angle 2, then your perpendicular, perpendicular line through K. Right. That means then that angle K1 is equal to angle K2, and that gives you 90 degrees. Right, and there you are. I've just drawn a line perpendicular through a given point K. It's only perpendicular, guys. Remember, the first one was a bisector also. This one is only a perpendicular. So I hope you could have done it. Again, practice, practice until you can do it. Right, we still have a third one coming up. So see you in a minute. Right, welcome back. I hope you've enjoyed the, our second uh, example. And yes, I'm sure you guys love it, man. It's so nice to create things, isn't it? Right, now activity time for you. Right, you know what that means? That I'm going to give you an example which you must try first on your own. Let me see how creative can you be. And then afterwards, I will come back and demonstrate to you. Okay, cool. Let's look at the activity. I want you to draw a perpendicular line from a given point, away from the line. Look here, there you are. There's my line AB. There's my line AB. And there is my point K, away from the line. So from point K, you must construct for us a perpendicular line. Is it clear, guys? You see? From K, you must construct a perpendicular line using your compass, guys. You must use your compass, please. Right? Do not use your protractor. Do not use your set square. You must use a compass. Is, is that clear, guys? I want you to sit, get your head around it, right? And then we're going to give you a few minutes to try this one on your own before I show you the final product. I'll be cool with that. Right, so get your stuff ready, get a new page, starting now.
Right, remember, you had to draw a line AB, any length, doesn't matter, guys. So there's your AB. Let me get a bit more clear so you can see. Right, there's our line AB. That is what you had to do. Number one, remember, step number one. Step number two, you had to find a point K anywhere away from the line. So let's say there the way I've shown you early on, right? So from that K, you must drop, literally drop a perpendicular onto AB. Drop a perpendicular onto AB. Now, how do we do it? Aha. What we can do is put your compass on K. Now, this is a bit short. Make it a bit long, uh, longer, bigger so that I can cut two arches, can you see, on AB. Is it clear, guys? So I'm going to cut two arches on AB, can you see? Right. Two arches on AB. Is that clear, guys? Is it clear what happened there, right? Any radius, as long as I can cut AB on two places, right? Okay, are we cool with that? Then you'll notice that I have a point of intersection there and another point of intersection there. Then put your compass on the one arc there and you can adjust your, your radius a bit smaller, make it a bit shorter, right, like that. And what you can do is Draw an arc there, either on top or at the bottom, doesn't really matter. Do not adjust the compass, please. Put it on the other arc, the other intersection, and make sure the two arches intersect. Are you, is it clear, guys? Let me repeat. Put your, your, your compass in there, draw a little arc there. I can even draw it at the bottom, guys, if I want to, even there. Doesn't really matter. Put it in the other intersection point and draw another arc there. And even there, you can draw it on top and at the bottom. You don't have to do, because we only need two points, not three points, right? So what you do is, now we're going to draw a line through K and this point. Or even this point. It doesn't matter. And there you are. Take your straight edge or your ruler and you draw your line, right? Or you can even extend it, you don't, you don't have to. Right, that is not necessary. And there you are. There's your perpendicular from K on AB. If I can call this maybe, call this M, so there'll be one and two. Then guys, um, M1 is equal to M2, which will give you 90. So that is a perpendicular, right, if I can just write here, a perpendicular drawn from a point K outside line AB. Right, perpendicular drawn from a point K outside line B. Okay, cool. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you could have done it the way I've done it. I hope so. I hope you didn't struggle. And cool. Right, guys. So I hope you will practice like I always ask. And now, see you later. Okay, right. Now, time for homework. And please, guys, it is important that you need to practice Homework is not there to punish you, but homework is there for you to practice until you get it right. So the homework activity I would like you to do is you must draw a line AB, right? Using a ruler and measure it 15 centimeters long, right? Draw a line AB using a ruler and measure it 15 centimeters long. Then you must identify a point K anywhere 
on the line, find a K anywhere on the line, then you must draw a perpendicular through right K using a compass. So then you must drop or draw a perpendicular line through K using a compass only, guys. Right, I hope it is clear. So remember the homework. Please do the homework. And even all, the act, all three we've done today, I want you to, again, practice them as part of your homework. Right, okay, guys, have a lovely day, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.